How can you do better in the multiple choice section of your A-level physics paper? Well, this is the question that somebody asked me the other week, and I looked into some real data from when I was teaching. I looked at the breakdown of marks over different papers I did with my classes. And what I found was that, first of all, the people who did better in the multiple choice section also tended to do better in the calculations, in the short written answers and the long written answer questions as well. Basically, if you want to get more marks in the multiple choice section, you just need to have a better, deeper understanding of the entire A-level physics course. And that knowledge is going to help you when it comes to looking at that multiple choice section. Now, of course, there are some techniques that you should always be applying when it comes to multiple choice questions. I've got uh, these worked examples here. Uh, you can find more of these over at alevelphysicsonline.com. And for this question here, even though I'm not going to get marked on this, I think it's still important to just go through the basics of writing down the equation, showing your working out, and that's going to stop you making silly mistakes in your calculations. This one here, I think, is a super interesting question. Now, it looks like there's a huge amount of working out, and you can obviously do all of this work to get to the right answer. But on this particular question, question eight, there's one key thing to look at. So after you've read the question, you've had a look at the diagram, it says which of the following equations is correct. So you've got one, two, and three, and then you've got your choices A, B, C, and D. Is it one, one and two, two and three, or one, two and three? Now there's something here that I think is a massive clue to which is the correct answer, A, B, C, or D. So we've got the collision of two things. We're going to be looking at the conservation of linear momentum, but this case in two dimensions. Now, of course, when P collides with Q, they both go off. And if we think about the conservation of momentum in this direction, there's going to be a component of velocity of P in this direction, and there's going to be a component of velocity W in that same direction as well. But here's the thing. They've labelled that angle there as theta. So whatever we think about for particle P, there's going to be something like V cos theta in this direction. And in this direction, we're also going to then have W sine theta in that direction. Which means when we think about the momentum going this way, it can't be this one here. Because there we've got W cos theta and V cos theta. You can't have two coses. One of these must be a sine because that angle there is theta and this angle over here must be theta as well. So one cannot be correct. Just have a think about that for a minute, maybe pause the video and think why one of these must be sine and they can't both be cos. So if one isn't correct, then A can't be correct and B can't be correct and D can't be correct and therefore the only possible answer is C. So for this one, you don't even need to do any calculations. You don't need to go through this full method that I worked out in my work solution, you can just think about first of all which of these can't be correct and if that can't be correct which of these does it discount. So little tips and tricks like that you will get more used to seeing things like that the more past papers you do. So in summary if you want to do really well in the multiple choice section first of all you need to have a good understanding of the physics. Secondly you need to make sure that you do show your working out so you don't make silly mistakes. And again, sometimes you get a question where you can easily discount the, the wrong solution to kind of come to the right solution quite quickly. And finally, make sure you don't spend too long in the section. If there's a question that, like this where you think, I don't know how to do it, leave it, move on and come back to it at the end of the paper. Lots of times in exams, students run out of time on the, past, on the multiple choice section because they get bogged down into one question. If you can't do it immediately, leave it, move on, and then come back to it later. Hopefully that helps. If you want to find more uh, to help you in your preparation for your exams, you can head over to alevelphysicsonline.com. I've got my big past paper finder there. I've got lots of work solutions, and I've got many videos to help you when it gets a little bit tricky.